Today's video is sponsored by Hostinger. If you are looking for the best website hosting solution, then Hostinger is a complete and a perfect solution for all your websites made from WordPress till the core development. Hostinger also provides the VPS and cloud hosting solution, which makes it perfect for creating your own gaming server. Also, the most important thing, its dashboard is very simple. You can simply launch your WordPress website in just a few clicks. Go to the hostinger.com slash annoyity and use the code annoyity to get up to 91% percent off on yearly web hosting plans. Also check out their latest new year sale in which you can get up to 90% off on web hosting with a free SSL as well from the link in the video description. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Annoyality Tech. It is Milan over here and today here we are having some major updates regarding the Samsung's upcoming flagship, the Galaxy S11 lineup. The first of all, the first update which we are going to talk about is the biggest update of today's date and it is coming from one of our trusted sources, the Universe Eyes from the Twitter. In a post, he actually posted uh, that the upcoming Galaxy S11 lineup is going to be named at the Samsung Galaxy S20 instead of the S11 which kind of pretty much makes sense because this is actually the 2020 year and Samsung might be uh, had actually just thought to change the name of this year's launches because it actually just match ups with the 2020 year the Samsung Galaxy S20 in the year 2020 it's just kind of like that okay so basically this is actually a final confirmation and it has been uh, come from the universe eyes in a conversation with a case manufacturer stating that Samsung actually wants to rename their devices so with this considering it out just like the past year as well the Galaxy S10 series we are going to see the three different models in this as well so based on that it is a probability that the naming of those three devices will be like this the normal Galaxy S10e will be called as the Galaxy uh, S20 itself whereas the S10 plus will be called as the Samsung Galaxy S20 plus uh, but considering it out the highest version the most feature packed device of this year uh, is going to be named as something kind of a pro or ultra maybe the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra or the Samsung Galaxy S20 Pro. It is not yet confirmed but it is actually practically been confirmed from this trusted sources that the Galaxy S20 is the name of the upcoming Galaxy S lineup guys which actually sounds uh, pretty much uh, kind of relevant to this year as well and really feels like a cool. Now moving ahead with the second update which we are actually having regarding the camera of this year's Samsung Galaxy S11 series or I could say the Samsung Galaxy S20 series are going to be very feature packed. We are actually going to see the four cameras on this device and basically they are going to be in this sense like the wide angle lens is going to be there which is going to be of 48 megapixels yes 48 megapixels other than this there will be going to be a telephoto lens and basically it is also going to be a 48 megapixels which will be actually capable of zooming up to 5x optical zoom up to 5x uh, and can be able to capture a long distance image pretty easily. Apart from this, the biggest uh, update which we have just uh, talked about in the last Tech Talk episode as well, the Samsung Galaxy S11 S20 series is going to have the 108 megapixel of the camera, which is now confirmed and it is going to be the primary sensor of this device. And basically it is actually in the sense like Samsung is actually working on a new uh, pixel technology which is actually kind of like uh, uh, converting 9 pixels into a single pixel and making a 2.4 micro uh, meter pixel together in order to short out that 108 megapixel image into a 12 megapixel super high quality and super exposed and highly uh, amazing looking image even in the low light situation uh, coming out of that 108 megapixel sensor. So apart from this the third most important update regarding the Galaxy S20 lineup is this design. This is actually this final design of this Galaxy S20 series which is coming from 
one of the most trusted sources till today is the on leaks and basically as we are pretty much able to see this design is pretty symmetrical as compared to that of the previous images which we have seen uh, regarding the same Galaxy S11 and this time as we are able to see clearly that there are four major cameras one camera is actually square shaped in design which is basically the telephoto lens and is capable of zooming up to five times 5x optical zoom so that's pretty much a nice thing that we are actually getting this kind of design and it even is more symmetrical and better looking as compared to the previous renders which we have already seen moving with the amazing update regarding the front display of this series is that we are actually going to see the front facing camera in the center of this device instead of the side hole or a punch hole in the top uh, right corner so basically the center front facing camera is the common in all the three series and there will be a massive increase in the display size it is being rumored uh, in that same update in the universe eyes that basically uh, it is going to be 6.2 inches 6.7 inches and a massive 6.9 inches screen is going to be present in the galaxy s20 series so that's pretty much nice we are going to get a lot of space and the last final update regarding this same thing is that this year we are going to see a 3d sonic max fingerprint sensor which will be going to be 17 times bigger as compared to that of the uh, previous under display fingerprint sensor which we are having in the note 10 plus in the s10 plus and it is also going to be capable of recording two fingers sensing two fingers at a single point of time in order to make the device more secure which is of course going to get more secure especially in terms of doing the financial transactions or paying or using Samsung Pay or something like that is going to be more convenient so this is really going to be a more uh, advanced step in terms of the security of the device so that is all pretty much the quick update regarding the Samsung Galaxy S20 series guys which we are going to see in the upcoming February month talking about the release date of this uh, there are two release dates that has been actually rumored right now, the Feb 11 and the 18th February. These are the two dates probably in which one will be the official release date of this Galaxy S20 series. So thank you so very much guys. Hope you found this uh, rumors and the leaks and the updates exciting and if you do so, thumbs up the like button. Let us know for which feature of the Galaxy S20 series are you most excited about. Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Any question or also feel free to let us know about this once again guys this is Melon from Anoility Technology thank you so very much for checking out this video with this I will talk to you guys in the next one for now peace out if you are looking for the best website hosting solution then Hostinger is a complete and a perfect solution for all your websites made from WordPress till the core development Hostinger also provides the VPS and cloud hosting solution which makes it perfect for creating your own gaming server also the most important thing its dashboard is very simple you can simply launch your wordpress website in just a few clicks go to the hostinger.com slash annoyality and use the code annoyality to get up to 91 percent off on yearly web hosting plans also check out their latest new year sale in which you can get up to 90 percent off on web hosting with a free ssl as well from the link in the video description